G'day guys, welcome to GJ Bricks. I'm here today to show you uh, a little mock I've done. Now, this is going to be part of a bigger mock, which is the roller coaster behind me that I've been working on, and you'll see this as part of that. But I made a drop tower. I had a few people ask me how it works, how the design works on this one. I actually originally made this when the haunted house came out, um, and I wanted to make a mechanism that was really quite compact that I could build around the whole thing. So this is actually designed in a way I could have stuff on every side of it if I wanted to, uh, which again is slightly unique versus the other sort of style of drop tower. So most of them have a system and there's something that goes on the front of it and it gets lifted up. I've actually built it around that system, which has got a few little quirks. So I'll show you that. And this little scene I've made as well, which is one of my uh, Pirate Town, um, air, one of the Pirate Town frontages from the uh, from the roller coaster Pirate uh, Barracuda Bay I'm building at the moment. So I'm just going to show you this in close up and how the mechanism works. So here's the whole thing. Just I'm going to do close ups of all of this, but. As you can see at the top of this, it sits there and judders three times. And the way that works is because I've included three of these. That's as simple as that. So if you look at something like the Lego Haunted House, there's only one of these. So it gets to the top and then it drops straight away. But I did that because I wanted to kind of keep the suspense there. <laughs> really did. I just thought having the three there just made it sit there. And then you can see it comes around and it hooks up. And it's the same approach in terms of that chain with the one big or the three big links on it that actually hold it in place but where mine varies is the way a it's very compact because everything's inside b it's not stupidly tall like the haunted house although there's no reason you couldn't extend this i just i wanted this to be a mini one um let's take this out of here so you can see it a bit better take it out of there so yes this is called la guillotine uh because it's in a pirate town and it has this blade here i just thought it was a bit sort of it was pirate appropriate unfortunately it's on the more morbid side of the whole pirate thing but you know it's what happens so yeah i've got the blade there as it goes up and I've kept it simple it goes down I'm, I'm not trying to make it morbid I just purely had it as a theming thing and then this sits on top of there so let's just pop this off because I was asked this question the other day how I actually attached it onto here um, just using five Technic pins so let's get in close and see how this works let's just bring that up so you can actually see it close so the way I've built this is I've used this piece here, this Technic shape here. That's uh, I don't really know how to describe it. It's like a sort of H almost in terms of its shape. So it's got this um, seven by five here shape, and then it's got these bits sticking out of it. And that was what I decided I had to make the shape work within. So everything is built within that tiny space in the middle there of that. You'll also see I've got these wheels on here and that stops it because I've only got this system here. It stops it rocking like, you know, going off angle. So those wheels there guide it. I actually want to put some more on the back, but I ran out of parts to do it, but it just holds it in place. And then again, I've got two small um, Technic parts in there, which are what the chain grabs onto. So that's what actually does the up and down there. So the chain will come round or chain will come round and then hook onto those and that's what makes it go up and down so you can see in there hopefully the lighting's good enough let's just get a bit of extra light in there so you can see that is what the chain then grabs onto is those two Technic bars in there so that's it's as simple as that and this is four Technic pins here and then everything here just pins onto it in terms of the seats themselves, I've done them this way, so they use a, a bracket like that on there. But the reason I've done that is because I wanted it to sit back, because obviously I've got the shape of the blade, uh, and then I wanted them to sit back. And then I've got these on the front here, so just these sort of arm pieces here. You see these quite a lot on sort of robot mechs and things like that. And then one of these T-bars just in there as, the, as what you hold on to when you're going, ah! as the guillotine drops 
um, where Brixtonville's sitting in the middle here. Because this is an odd size, everything's an odd size in here. You'll see, like, this itself is nine across. So anybody who builds with Lego knows odd numbers cause problems, which is why he's sitting on these jumper plates here. So I've got the, the offset modified two, one by twos in there. And then he sits on these slightly different pieces to hold him in place. And that, as far as I can tell, it, it hasn't come apart yet on me. So uh, I know Kaz from uh, Blockhead UK was asked me the question of how she's attached, uh, how I've attached it because she's had problems with them coming away. That's how I've done it. Um, simple as that. It, it doesn't seem to fall apart on me. So and then the gearing, you can play with the gearing. I've actually got this on a, on a, a small to big coin, big cog here. So that will slow it down, but it will make it a much smoother thing. And this whole thing does go up very, very, very smoothly. You can barely, you can barely hear that clicking through, even when it picks the cars up. There's hardly any noise there, and there's a bit of movement here because it's not on a plate at the moment. But yeah, there it is. So yeah, the design is that. So it's a, a Technic beam through the middle there with the chain on it and then two plates on either side. One side's obviously smooth because this is the back of a plate and this is the front of a plate. It'd be good if Lego made parts like this that were that long, but so I could put them on the back and make it smooth on both sides. But as far as I know, they don't. I'm happy to be told differently on that one. So that is my super simple drop tower. I had took a, a little bit of engineering to make it work the way I wanted it to. Um, but you can see I could put another row of seats on the back here could put another row on the side if I want to So that was what my goal was to actually see you you look at drop towers in a lot of theme parks They actually are all around a central tower that goes up and I didn't want to have like a huge wide massive mechanical tower I wanted to keep it simple and I think I solved that quite eloquently with elegantly with that everything is compact in that middle it does take a little bit of finger poking if you've got big fingers it gets a bit fiddly getting it in there the first time but once it's in yeah it works beautifully I mean I find these chains quite fiddly to work with but I did have another cog in the middle just to smooth it out but it actually um, doesn't need to be there uh, so I took it out um, it doesn't add anything to it the chain is nicely tensioned as is so yeah that's it and as for the mock I've put it in here just a very simple <laughs> actually this is going to be the harbour front in uh, in what I'm building so along here is going to be the dock front so yeah and then this is a, a little tavern there with some smoke coming out the back of it and this just currently sits in here there's one cog showing over the top because I haven't actually gone to the extent of covering that in and then this just drops down Oops, put it in the wrong place. Ha <laughs> ha. Then it drops down into one place. Let's do that again so it doesn't look quite so silly there. Brick Bakery sitting there going, you muppet. <laughs> you can see it pulls slightly off and I'm working on, I'm trying to figure out how to stop it doing that. The way to do it would be to put some more wheels on the side here. So like I've got the wheels there that stop it tipping forward and back. I have another set on this sides that actually do the same thing. But getting into realms of really nitpicking. And it, I don't think it actually needs it to be perfectly honest. And what I've done down the bottom here is actually make it so that it can drop down and be guided back into place. And it just sits there perfectly. I hope you really enjoyed seeing that little mock. I had, I've had i got to confess, I, I had fun building the mechanism originally and I've refined it slightly to make it smaller. There's a few things I've done to balance it out and things like that. But also, I, when I originally built it, I didn't have a specific theme in mind. So uh, this actually, I admit, as I said, the, the theming of the guillotine is slightly morbid, I admit that, but it works perfectly with that roller coaster mock. And I thought, you know, having this whole pirate area with a big roller coaster going around it uh, just made so much sense. So I'm happy with it. It's going to look cool. If I can fit this into the area I'm thinking on the roller coaster, it's going to look really good. If not, it's going to be a standalone thing. I, I think it's really cool. I like it. And I like, think the visitors on there are enjoying it. Although Robin Hull's not big on this kind of thing. So sorry, Robin. <laughs> he's smiling on the outside, but on the inside, he's going, ah! <laughs> anyway. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this and if it's something that uh, you think you'll build, if you like the mechanism or I've got some improvements on it or you've done your own, I'd love to know. It's one of those things like there are several ch channels that do roll, um, 
theme park kind of builds and it's quite interesting to see what other people have done so anyway so let me know in the comments what you think uh, if you're new here hit subscribe and I will see you again very very soon here's a couple more videos I think you will enjoy